Hey, enrollment is now open for my most intensive life-changing coaching program for Christian women. I do not know of another program like this. It is amazing. If you're ready to leave the old behind and move into the new, I want to give you five transformations in five months. Inside the Happiest Lives Academy, you will get all the tools and support you need, and you will never be alone in this process. Enrollment opens once a year, and the program starts in January. Learn more and enroll at myhappyvault.com backslash academy. You are listening to the Happiest Lives Podcast with Jill Lillard. Episode number 32. Welcome to the Happiest Lives Podcast, where you'll learn to think better, feel better, and become the woman God says you already are. Here's your host, Jill Lillard. Hey there, I am so excited to have this time with you and introduce you to some of my coaching clients who have graduated from the Happiest Lives Academy. I hope you love hearing their stories, and I know many of you will relate to these amazing women. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Jill Lillard. I am a licensed professional counselor, a Gottman certified couples therapist, and a life coach. I've been helping people have better lives and relationships for over 25 years. And my latest endeavor is the creation of the happiest lives, which is an online community for Christian women that helps you grow. It helps you think better, feel better, and become the women that God says you already are. And if you choose to join me in the Happiest Lives Academy, which is my most intensive coaching program inside the Happiest Lives, I'm going to walk closely beside you as your coach, your prayer partner, and we are going to become great friends. My name is Laura Roach. I've been married for 34 years. I have three adult sons, two currently living at home. And The Happiest Lives has just been a game changer for me. And I'm very excited about the work that I've done and what God is doing through it and will continue to do. Hi, my name's Andrea McDermott and um, I've been married for 24 years. I have a daughter that's in college and I work in medical sales and um, I uh, am just really, so happy that I found the Happiest Lives Academy. Hi, my name is Jen, and I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom of five kids. Hi, my name is Sharon Martino. I've been married for 55 years. Um, empty nester was a long time ago. I have one son who's 44. I'm a retired RN, and I really finding the Happiest Life Academy was God sent, absolutely. Hello, my name is Lois and I'm 48 and currently a full-time caregiver to my parents. I'm attempting to learn how to balance the challenges that come with living and caring for aging parents, as well as the emotional transition of an out-of-state move from a community that was my home for 21 years. And so the Happiest Lives Academy, I would say, it came in at just the right time of some major stressors um, from both my family relationships and in other friendships. Hi, my name is Tara. I've been married for 34 years. We have two handsome sons, two beautiful daughters in love, and two wonderful grand gifts. Hi, my name is Michelle, and uh, I've been married for, to my husband for 28 years. We have two beautiful children, a 25-year-old daughter who just got married about eight months ago, and a 19-year-old son who's a sophomore in high school. Hi, I'm Julie, and I wanted to take a few minutes and share uh, some thoughts that I have about participating in the Happiest Lives Academy. Um, I'm a, a mom of six children, ages 13 to 28. I also work full-time as a manager, and I um, attend school uh, part-time as I'm finishing my degree. Hi, I'm Christy. I was a stay-at-home mom for 20 years and just recently went back to work during the process of um, academy. I ended up in an academy. Um, God got me in it, and uh, I am so blessed. If you are a Christian woman who loves the Lord and yet you find yourself struggling in some area of your personal life or relationships, then this program is for you. Now, I don't have a secret formula that's going to help you control the whole wide world. I don't know how to make other people behave the way that we want them to behave. If I knew how to do that, 
I would show you, I would give it to you. But people are always going to have free will. God has given them that and we can't take that away. And there's always going to be weeds and thorns in, uh, in life. There, in life, there's going to be trouble. But if you want to abide in greater peace, joy, and aliveness, if you want to have better relationships, then I am here to help. Dozens of women have already graduated from the Happiest Lives Academy, and they tell me that they are more connected, engaged, and present in their actual life. And I witness it. I see them transform throughout the program. At the end of the program, they are just more calm and centered and peaceful than they were at the beginning. It's it's always evident. They have new mindset tools and skills that foster confidence that they didn't have before. So if you're like one of these women, you are ready to leave the old behind and move into something brand new. The Happiest Lives Academy was designed with you in mind. In this program, I'm going to walk you through five transformations, giving you the foundational framework for managing your inner and outer world so that you can show up 100%. And as you apply what you learn and you access all the support that's available to you in the academy, you're going to graduate in five months feeling like a new person. In five months, you will learn how to organize your mind, process your emotions, make powerful decisions, have calm conversations, and break strongholds. Doesn't that sound amazing? The tools and skills you learn and the personal insight that you will gain from being coached and watching others be coached, that is going to give you greater confidence, peace, and joy. I think the very best part of the program is that we go through all the transformations together. You aren't just left there alone trying to figure it out, trying to navigate it by yourself. I'm going to help you and walk with you every step of the way. So not only will you authentically engage in your life, connecting to your heart, tangibly experiencing more of Christ because that's what we all need, but you get to do this very personal and intimate work with other women who experience so many of the same thoughts and feelings as you. So you are never alone. The opportunity for the Academy came up and I'm so thankful. It was such a huge answer to prayer um, because I had wanted to get certain results in my relationship like connection and communication and closeness, but I was frustrated because we kept um, on this cycle and I was lacking a connection um, with my husband. I felt defensive a lot and we were seeming to be on and off again in conflict. And um, I always considered him my best friend and so it became very painful for me to see that friendship moving in in an unhealthy and uncomfortable direction. And I think the thing that this became powerful for me in those five months of the Academy is just recognizing the power of my thoughts and that those emotions that I have um, really are powered by thoughts. And so I started taking a deep dive into what my thoughts were and the ones that weren't serving me well. And um and just confessing that to God and then seeking him in his word and with um, new thoughts that have been really powerful for me. And one that comes right out of scripture is in Colossians 3, 2. And it basically says, set your mind on things above, not on things that are on the earth. And that for me has just been one power thought that has been very powerful um, in just... Um, Taking my thoughts captive, as scripture says, finding thoughts that God says are true and really focusing in on those. And those have powered the emotions to a, in a new direction. And they come from a very real and authentic place. And I'm really loving the great results in my relationship with my husband and with others. Well, it has been a journey. That is for sure. Um, an incredible journey. And I'm so thankful for the past five months um, I was on Facebook one night scrolling around and this ad popped up for the happiest lives. And I thought, if there's something that can give me a happy life, I want it. <laughs> and so I looked at the information, I watched the videos and then I Googled Jill and, um, 
Long story short, I actually contacted her and asked for some private sessions um, because I was at a really low point in my life and um, I wasn't clinically depressed, but I was really low and wanted happiness. And, um, and so after meeting with Jill and then researching more of The Happiest Lives, um, she invited me to attend the heart scan workshop and I did that and participated in that and then I knew without a doubt that I needed to do this program and um, and so I asked my husband um, and it, it was um, a Christmas present um, and it was the best Christmas present I could have ever asked for so um, during the past five months I have gone from being negative Nancy to positive Polly and um, I'm just really really um, a new person and um, not every day is perfect but I've learned the tools that prevent me from going really low and um, and what's so powerful and what I loved about the program and why I wanted to join is that it's Christian based and you're with other Christian women and um, in, in the power in God's Word, I've always, um, you know, been in Bible study and, you know, felt like I had a good relationship with the Lord, but it's grown to a whole new, whole new level. And the, um, the process that we learn um, in terms of managing your thoughts and feelings and emotions and making decisions and you know, the strongholds that I had in my life that kept holding me back, I've learned how to break through those. And so um, I just can't say enough about this program. And I'm, I'm just so thankful. Um, it's uh, the past five months has been phenomenal. Prior to going to the academy, I um, it sounds kind of dramatic, but I felt like I was dying on the vine. I was living my life kind of on autopilot. I was going to church, I was active, I put a smile on my face, I tried to get along with my husband, it wasn't going real good, <laughs> and just tried to, I was terrible at making decisions. Um, I never had a conflict conversation because I didn't really allow myself to do that, kind of a people pleaser, and I just wanted everybody to be happy, and they seemed to be, it was just me that wasn't. And even when I was doing things that were kind of joyful, I would be looking at the time, wondering when this is gonna be over. So if, if I could say any words that I was before the Academy, I would say that I was waiting, wanting, unfulfilled, and hopeless. I knew something was missing. The scriptures didn't do it for me anymore. I hate to say that, but they didn't. I was going from one woman's Bible study to another and nothing clicked. I just couldn't get myself out of where I was. And one, somebody from our church happened to put on her Facebook about the Academy. Actually, it was the Happy Vault, I think, Vault, I think, first. And I learned about the heart scan. And that was a tool that was the missing link. And there's a scripture for me that most represents my experience with the Academy. And it's from Romans 8, 6, and it says, for to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. So even though I've known this verse for years, and I'd found victory in certain ways throughout my life by His Spirit, I have become callous and fatigued in the disappointments and hurts I'd known in my life. And I was really in a hardened, and I would say shallow place in relating to God and others. The results were a breakdown and not only relating with those around me and the Lord, but also within myself. And so the coaches in the academy, they walked me through what it was to stand back, to see more clearly that most of my emotional turmoil and physical anxiety and even spiritual numbness that it, I was feeling was so greatly connected to unhinged thoughts that I had about others and my circumstances. Each month of the academy had a different theme, be it thoughts, emotions, decision making, breaking strongholds, all pointing to the cross and their practical ways to actively walk in Christ's grace and receive more fully the gifts promised in His Word. The Academy, uh, as I read through Jill's material, uh, promised transformation. And it didn't promise just one transformation, it promised five transformations. And I thought, hmm, how can that be? 
five transformations that sounded too good to be true. Besides coming to Christ and my faith, this academy has been the most impactful decision that I've ever made in my adult life. Um, I just can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, the heart scan is a tool that you'll learn in the academy that uh, I will use for the rest of my life. Um, I've learned how to apply it to leverage my emotions, which is huge for me. I've learned to create calm conversations. I've learned how to break strongholds in my life. I've learned how to make powerful decisions and to not question them once I've made them. Um, and it's uh, something that will, again, I'll come back to many, many times over throughout the rest of my life. The tool that has helped me the most would be the heart scan. It is the most profound tool um, that I've ever used and I've tried a lot of things um, and sought out a lot of experts. Time, money, and energy are your most significant assets. And like me, you may have invested in products or services to improve your life only to discover they didn't deliver on the promises. So if you're hesitant to invest, I get it. You probably have the same reservations that my Academy girls had before they decided to take the plunge. Well, the first thing that I struggled with in, um, whether or not I was going to make the big investment was just that the, the cost and, um, and then what if I put all that money and effort in and time, and then it doesn't really help. And, um, I can honestly say that it was worth every dime and the time spent was so powerful and worth it. I want to encourage you to join the Academy. I had my own reservations before I joined in the spring, and um, the first of which was um, time and money, thinking, do I really have the time to devote to it because I have all of these other responsibilities and obligations, and um, the second was the money, and I will tell you that God provided on both ends, um, provided a way financially for me to do it, and provided a way for um, there to be childcare for my kids so I could participate in Zoom calls, and um, and then motivated me to carve out some time during the day to do the coursework on my own. So it really, um, it's doable, and God was faithful to fill in those um, areas of concern for me. I did have a fear that I had before officially joining the academy, um, and it was about if I would be able to process in a group setting in the moment along with the coaches and other women. And as an internal processor, I know it takes me some time to think what is resonating with me and to allow space for an open mindset towards how things could be different without feeling rushed through a process. So I decided to get a peek into what the academy work would be like by joining the Clarity and Courage class and also the week intensive on the heart scan process. Since I was on a steady decline, I was going to give it a go and see what would happen. I found myself getting so much out of the group processing and the power of a community devoted to his word and one another towards his presence and holiness. I began to see that there are many levels offered in the Happiest Lives Academy to learn and do this work at a personal pace that was doable and effective for all sorts of temperaments. I am very glad and relieved I joined because this is a very unique opportunity to be in a profoundly encouraging and focused community of coaches and women who would lovingly keep you accountable in the joyful highs and the darkest lows while walking with the Lord. I was hesitant to join the program because programs in the past haven't helped. Plus, it was a lot of money, it was going to take a lot of time, and I wasn't sure I could be real and put myself out there. I decided to join because I needed the guidance. I'm glad I did because of the friendships, the accountability, and the encouragement I received from the other gals in the group. It was worth every penny, every minute, and putting myself out there. You won't regret joining. You're worth it. If you're ready to invest in yourself, show up and do the work, 
I am here to help you right where you are. I'm going to meet you where you are. And don't worry, you don't have to know how to create the change. That's my job. You just have to be willing. Inside the Happiest Lives Academy, you can access myself and Coach Stephanie on a daily basis. You will also get a um, Slack app which is our messaging app. And that's where you can connect with the other women and build relationships with them and do this work with them. And so each month inside the Happy Vault, a short power packed, clear lesson is going to unlock. And you are also going to get application assignments. You're gonna get a workbook in the mail each month that's gonna help you take this work and apply it. So we're not just consuming information. We're not just learning more things. We are actually putting those those concepts into practice. So twice a week, we are going to meet on live calls. You're going to have a coaching call and a worksheet workshop. And if you can't make it to all the calls, that is okay. Replays are available. It's always nice if you show up live, but there will be replays and you will find all the support and structure that you have been missing inside this program. One of the neat things about this program is once it's over, it's not really over. Um, You don't have to just leave everyone. You have an opportunity to stay connected through a program called VIP. So I'm a new member of VIP and really excited about that. So I get to continue the friendships and then meet other women who have gone through the program in years past. So I think it's going to be a lifelong um, journey with these other Christian women and um, I'm I'm just, I'm so thankful because uh, I don't feel lonely anymore. I'm a different girl and I have found a lot of hope and a lot of joy through the process. So Jill had really taken me and probably each and every one of us by the hand uh, and led us to experience God's love really in a deeper, deeper way. I am forever changed uh, because of it and um, have been so thankful um, for this journey. To grow, we must be willing to be uncomfortable, plant the seeds, and take the till to the ground. It's not always fun, but it's totally worth it. And because it's nobody else's job to take care of you and make you happy, you must step up and say, I'm willing. The only person who can position you to receive and grow is you. And the only one who can make what is planted grow is the Lord. We are here to help be his hands and feet and nurture what is planted. You may have to go through seasons of waiting, but when you trust and obey the Lord, when you plant the seeds, then you will reap a harvest in due time. Only when we're willing to do it imperfectly, releasing what we can't control, that's when we eventually reap a harvest. In the Happiest Lives Academy, I walk alongside you, I give you seeds, and I show you how to plant. And together, we invite the Holy Spirit to do His work. There's also that hesitation of whether or not we want to feel vulnerable. And I have to say, in my life, I've learned that vulnerability, the vulnerability is powerful. And I, I feel in the Academy, there is this unspeakable trust and connection. I really didn't have um, any hesitations about joining just because I had really done a lot of research um, and gotten to know Jill uh, prior to joining the Academy. And like, um, I think the only uh, hesitation that, you know, I had, if you call it a hesitation, was just like the vulnerability of um, exposing, you know, your personal things um, amongst other women. But what has been so wonderful is that I've gotten to know all of these other women and we have so many similarities and a lot of their situations um, would apply to something that I experienced and then something that I might share might help someone else. I was pretty apprehensive about doing anything. Um, I've been a Christian, very committed since the Jesus movement, and I've gone down a lot of Christian paths that got me into all kinds of stuff, and I was afraid of that, and I thought, I know how I am, 
I hear something and I kind of follow right along. So I went into things very slowly. I went to that, um, that class where we did the heart scan and I learned about that and I had such good results, but I still was apprehensive because I, not someone to, I, first of all, I didn't know what my feelings were. And then especially to, to spill them out to strange women, <laughs> I just didn't think um, I could do that. But what I found out, because I know I'm older than a lot of the women here, but as they, the coaching calls were so good for me because as the other women talked, I thought we're more alike than different. And that I just was one step at a time that I got more involved and less afraid and willing to, um, to connect with others. Uh, I don't like uh, to do things that I can't do perfectly. Uh, so therefore, I just don't do them. Um, and this, as you can well imagine, creates difficulty in a lot of situations. But post-academy, after the academy, I'm not resisting. Uh, I'm giving myself to things. I'm not feeling overwhelmed. I'm not feeling it has to be a certain way. Um, I just, I'm, I'm moving forward. Uh, and that's a really great feeling. So I don't have to be stuck, and neither do you. Um, I'm really glad that I joined the Academy, and I hope that you're able to also. If you want to feel better and wake up excited about your life, take the plunge and join me in the Happiest Lives Academy. I genuinely believe this will be the best decision you make this year. I just want to encourage you to go for it. It's so worth it. If I hadn't, I wouldn't be what I'm, I wouldn't be experiencing what I'm experiencing now. I really want to encourage all of you to um, really consider the Happiest Lives Academy. I don't think there's any other place that I'm aware of that you can come together and grow with other Christian women. And not only do you grow with the other women, but you also grow in your relationship with Christ. And um, the just the opportunity to go deeper with the Lord has really changed my life. And I don't know, um, words can't even describe it. Uh, looking at my, my mind and my life and to do the daily devotions, it, the, the rewards of everything was the program put together is put together well. And I absolutely do not know anything like this. And I've never seen it in my Christian walk. And I've been sharing different things about it with friends and things. And um, I just, I, I just feel that you, there is a happiest life. I didn't know that. I honestly did not know that. I also found this is the best place I could be, um, a mess and to a better walk and sit to heal in sincere light before God and others. And to be able to more fully and fully know what is found in Christ in 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 5. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. If you decide to do this, which you should, um, go all in, just go all in do every part. If you enjoyed this podcast, I would love to help you take this concept and apply it. Join me in Clarity and Courage, my cost-effective coaching program for Christian women. Each month, receive the tools you need to apply the concepts and grow. We will meet on a live coaching call where you can ask me anything. Plus, you get access to the worksheet workshop where you can have conversations with other women just like you. Learn more and sign up at myhappyvault.com backslash clarity and courage.